ExcelMasterSeries.com. Today we're going to create an interactive Excel chart for the beta distribution, its cumulative distribution function. And the beta distribution has four different user inputs. You have an alpha, a beta, and a minimum time of occurrence, and maximum time of occurrence. Let's vary those to see how they change the graph. Okay, changing the beta from 4 to 10 changes the graph, and the alpha from 2 to 5 back to 2, and then the beta, back to 4, maximum time of occurrence, 0.5 to 0.9, the minimum time of occurrence, change that to 0.5, then back to 0.1, and the maximum time of occurrence, change that back to 0.5. So we know it's interactive, and that's what we're going to create. And now we need to put the data in for the x and y axes. So let's take a look at that data. The y axis, cell C40. Here's the formula in cell C40. It's a complicated formula. It's an if-then-else statement, but that's what's in there. And that is the basis of all of the data in that y axis. Now we're going to fill the data in for the x axis. It starts with 0 0.001, second one is 0 0.02, and then each successive cell is the previous plus 0 0.02. Okay, we want to center that, and then to drag that data down, we want to put the cursor right on the corner so it turns into an X, and then drag it down just like that. Drag it down as far as you want, and it will take the formula until you stop dragging it and release it. There it is. And the final point will be 0.999 to make the formula work properly. Okay, center it. Alrighty, now let's go do the same thing with the Y data. Cell C40, there we're going to clear that color to so we don't drag the blue color down, and then put the cursor right in the corner there, turn it into an X, drag the formula down like so, all the way down so it is parallel to the X. Put it in there and it's an if then else statement. That's why the zeros in, and the ones are in the correct place there. The if then else does that. You need to know that if you want to be an Excel statistical master. Alrighty, now let's create a chart. First, before we do that, let's make sure that let's verify the inputs. The input for the Y data, you can see the four user inputs and the X axis data and if you hit the precedent button that's what you get if you hit the erase button it gets rid of those arrows let's create a chart input chart it's an area chart first option next and the data is in columns so select columns and we'll put in the first series of y data so add the y data and we're going to write in the name of that y data label that name is the probability of event occurring within time t. It's cumulative distribution function within time t, up to time t, given the functions alpha, beta, the minimum completion time, and the maximum completion time. Now, beta distribution is typically used to calculate the probability that an event will occur within two time periods given the alpha and beta. That's what it is. So as soon as we type in this formula, we're going to go get that data for the values, almost finished typing in the label for the y-axis, okay? Now we're going to get that. We have to delete what's in there and then hit that corner square. Go ahead and select all the data for the cumulative distribution function that we just calculated. Okay, and go ahead and hit the corner again. Puts the data into the chart. See, it's right there in the chart. Now we're going to get the x-axis. That would be time t. So hit that corner, go up. Select all that time T data, bring it down, select all of it. Then hit the square in the corner there, and that puts the data in the chart. Next page, we're going to, on the next page, put the correct title of the chart in. That would be the beta distribution, cumulative distribution function. And the x-axis category is going to be time t. And hitting next, charts finished. Okay, 
Let's drag that chart up there and put it on top of the original chart. Put our newly constructed chart right up there on top of the original that was here before. And let's check the interactivity to make sure that we made the chart correctly. Okay, a chart's in place, the new one we just made. And let's go vary those parameters. See what happens. Okay, let's vary the beta. Change that from 4 to 10. Change the chart. There you go. Change the alpha from 2 to 5. Enter. Okay. Change beta back to 4 and alpha to 2. And maximum time of occurrence to 0.9. We're seeing the changes being reflected in the chart. Minimum time of occurrence to 0.4. Okay. And you've seen the changes instantly get reflected in the chart. So we see the interactivity works. We've done it correctly. If you would like to master MBA level statistics in Excel, check out our Excel Statistical Master Series of eManuals at www.excelmasterseries.com slash eManual.php. Thank you very much and goodbye.